said run it up Rolls Royce Phantom right here. Aston Martin Vantage. Pretty sweet McLaren 570S right here. Another one right there, but that's a 570S Spider. Here's the McLaren Artura, but I don't think there's one inside. Yeah, I see the Senna. Oh, there's the McLaren Senna. Oh, there's the Koenigsegg. Oh my gosh, there's a Koenigsegg. Holy shit. Oh, I've never seen a. You've never seen a. Holy crap. Okay, just go inside. Holy crap. Holy crap. Holy crap. Holy crap. Lamborghini Urus, that looks really good. I like the spec on that one. We have arrived to the back of the dealership. Now we have a ton of supercars back here. Starting off, we have a McLaren MP412C and a Lamborghini Gallardo. Tell me in the comments below, which would you have? I personally, I think I would go with the Lamborghini Gallardo because of that V10 sound. <laughs> And I just absolutely love this. And let's just check if this is a gated manual one. And yes, it is. It is a gated manual Lamborghini Gallardo. We have yellow stitching inside there with yellow exterior paint, yellow calipers, and then black rims. This is like my dream spec Gallardo. It's one of my all-time favorite Lamborghinis ever. All right, so my brother over here, he just told me there's a green SVJ back there. First over here, we have the old Rolls-Royce Phantoms right here. And then we have an old Rolls-Royce Ghost, which is the previous generation. We have an Aston Martin DBS or DB9, not really sure. We have two Lamborghini Urises right here. That one looks wrapped. Looks really, really cool. And Aston Martin Rapide. And then this black Lamborghini Urus. Aston Martin DBX, Rolls-Royce Ghost, Rolls-Royce Ghost that's wrecked. And here we have an Evo rear wheel drive that is, well, it's seen better days. And then we have a Lotus Evora GT. I am in love with the designs on this. Lotus Elise and then a Lamborghini Urus, Huracan 600 LT with a black wrap on it. Which would you take? I think I would pick the Huracan just for that V10 scream. I've revved up a Huracan rear wheel drive before and it just sounds so, so good. I've also rode in one and it just sounds so amazing. That V10 screams to 8,500 RPM. The McLaren 600 LT, I've also ridden in one of those. I think I enjoyed the Lamborghini more just for that V10 sound. Ooh, 8,000 RPM. <laughs> Here we have the back of the showroom. We have a green SVJ Roadster. And I literally haven't seen a normal Aventador. Yes, a normal Aventador in over two years. I am not lying. This is an SVJ Roadster. So you can take the top off and everything. Here we have a 600 LT Spider, Then a McLaren GT right here in a purple. I'm not exactly sure what kind of purple this is. But the side profile shot of the McLaren GT. One of the best out there in the game right now. And then coming back here again. We have one of my other dream cars. The McLaren 720S. And in this white it looks so so good here we have the lamborghini aventador svj roadster next to the original lp 700-4 aventador now this one right here is a roadster and then what do you think about this carbon fiber wing right here it looks good to me but it's not the best looking now there are a few other supercars back there so we're going to take a look at those all right so before we go take a look we have a rolls royce cullinan right there and then we have a manual murcielago all the way back there as you can see okay it's really really hard to tell but if you can spot back there right behind the murcielago you can see a McLaren 765 LT. If you look really, really closely on the front of it, you can spot that it is a 765 LT. All right, now let's go take a look at the back. So we're not allowed to go back there, but you can see a custom-made Lamborghini Aventador S down there. We have a green Lamborghini Urus. We have a McLaren 720S. And we have a few other Rolls Royces down there and a few Aston Martins, a few McLarens, and then a Huracan Evo rear-wheel drive in that little shed right there. Okay, so which would you guys take? The McLaren 720S, which is not the LT version, so just the standard 720s or the mclaren 600 lt which is the hardcore variant of the 570s i think i would still take the 720s because it is one of my dream cars and i think it looks just a little bit better or would you go for a more subtle approach the mclaren gt let me know in the comments below <laughs>
trespass beyond this point right here. So I'm just gonna put this up right here. All right, we're just not gonna go right here because I do not want to get in trouble. Lamborghini Huracan Performante right here. And then we have a Huracan Evo right here. Two Aston Martin DBXs back here. And there's the McLaren Speed. We got the Huracan Evo Coupe right here. We have an Aston Martin DBX and another DBX right here. 570S Spider, another 570S Spider. I think that is a 650S Spider. Then we have a Bentley Flying Spur, Lotus Evora GT, McLaren 12C Spider, I think. Now that's a 12C Coupe. Rolls Royce Cullinan with white wheels. Actually, that looks pretty, pretty cool. We have a Ferrari 458 Speciale Aperta. But look at the interior on this Rolls Royce. It's orange. What in the world? Okay, I think this is the first time i've ever seen a mclaren gt2 but here we have a 570s coupe right here and then here we have two 458 specialis so we have a coupe and then we have an aperta right here the aperta is far more rare than the coupe version i literally haven't seen a speciale aperta or even a speciale in literally two years all right here we have a 4.5 liter naturally aspirated v8 9000 rpm if you're a true supercar enthusiast you know the engine that the 458 speciale has and the normal 458 oh Beautiful. Never really seen the McLaren GTs before in my entire life, so this is the first time I'm seeing this, but I haven't seen a Speciale in two years, so this is pretty special. Oh, look at the GT3s and GT3 RSs over here. I just love the color on that GT3 RS, and I think this is Miami blue on this GT3 right here. This is the 991.2 generation. And then the Aston Martin Vanquish has a naturally aspirated V12. And then we got the Mustang collection up there, including this Shelby GT350 right here. But just take a look at this yellow GT3 RS. Tell me what you think of the spec on this. I honestly like it a lot, but I prefer the lizard green. The first time I'm seeing hypercars is a McLaren Senna, a McLaren Speedtail, and and a Koenigsegg Regera. All right, y'all, let's see the hyper cars again. Here we have the Aston Martin DBX right here, but we're gonna walk into this showroom right here where we have a Koenigsegg Regera, a McLaren Speedtail, and a McLaren Senna. What in the world? I'm just blown away. We have a 720S Coupe, 720S Spider, and another 720S Coupe. <laughs> All right, here, let's take a side profile shot of the McLaren Speedtail. Now, just look at how low this thing sits. And also this McLaren Speedtail right here, it has the optional roof scoop, which I think is super, super cool. But I think I would prefer it without the roof scoop. Now, this thing produces over a thousand horsepower with its twin turbocharged V8 and also an electric motor. It is in this crazy looking purple. I love it. And this doesn't even have mirrors. It actually has cameras instead of mirrors because McLaren says that the mirrors will actually slow down the car. The rims I also really, really like on this car and the rear deck just check that out that is pretty insane right here the carbon fiber actually bends up and down when you're at high speeds to produce more downforce so the entire rear wing doesn't pop up it's just these two little carbon blades on the side but it is so cool and then check out the mclaren senna the mclaren speedtail is so smooth looking and then this is just so like i just can't even describe how many body panels i see the mclaren senna is definitely the best for the track for acceleration definitely the koenigsegg but in terms of the color i would choose the mclaren speedtail or this i don't know it's a really hard choice to choose and this color I just absolutely love that. And check out these little carbon fiber arrow flaps right here over the rear fenders. That is definitely to curve the air upwards to produce more downforce. And this one's a US spec McLaren Senna because it has two exhaust pipes and not three. But then the craziest part about the McLaren Senna is if you check down right here, you can literally see the carbon fiber parts where it covers the wheel well and then where it covers the axle part because that part of the axle is where it leads to the drivetrain and transmission. And then that leads to the engine. But look how exposed every Everything is back here. That is just so crazy. Now this car was named after Ayrton Senna, which is a legendary McLaren race car driver. But then we're gonna go back to the speed tail right here because we are just gonna check down the rear diffuser. Look how much that extends. And the exhaust pipes are all the way in there. That is one of the craziest things I have ever seen on a production car ever. Just look how much that extends out there. That is insanity. 
All right, so unfortunately it is closing and we will come back another time, but just for the time being, let us just say goodbye to the McLaren Speedtail over there and the McLaren Senna and then over here, the Koenigsegg Regera. And then we are just gonna come back here because again, 720S is then over here we have an Aston Martin Vantage. All right, we're just gonna go away from the hypercars now. Oh, that's such a pretty car. Then we are gonna check out the hypercars through that window over there. And there was a straight pipe McLaren 570S and 650S. McLaren Speedtail, I think, is my favorite in terms of design. I was never really a fan of the Koenigsegg Gregera design, but just look at how that... Gosh, the Speedtail I'm the most surprised about. Just take a look at the headlights of the McLaren Speedtail. I was really not a fan of the design, in my opinion, at first. And then right here, right on this little strip right here, you have the light bar, and that is the running lights. Oh my gosh, and then look at that carbon fiber front splitter everywhere. That is just such a pretty looking car. And then look right there on the front wheels, you actually have a cap right here. And then that smoothens out the airflow because McLaren says that the rims on the standard McLaren Speedtail would be just too unaerodynamic. Unaerodynamic meaning a 250 mile per hour hypercar. The Senna is the total opposite. This car is made for aerodynamic efficiency in terms of track performance. It doesn't look elegant at all. And it wasn't meant to look elegant. It was made to just look insane. And it was all meant not just for insane looks, but it was also made for just downforce. We do have a new 2021 Rolls-Royce Ghost right there and right here. Here's the new Rolls-Royce Ghost. What do you think about it? I think it's a really great design from the front. From the back, I'm kind of not sure about it. And then here we have an Aston Martin DBX, probably the world's prettiest SUV in my opinion. The design looks like an Aston Martin Vantage and an Aston Martin DBS Superleggero. And then it created an SUV form and then it has a four liter twin turbocharged V8 provided by Mercedes AMG. We're just gonna take one last peek at the hypercars. I wonder how much the Koenigsegg Regera cost because this spec looks just insane. The Speedtail, I'm also wondering because the McLaren MSO roof scoops cost a lot. So I'm really wondering how much the Speedtail will cost. Not really sure the exact color on all of these cars, but the specs are so cool. And then look, Koenigsegg Regera has white interior. It's really nice. So unfortunately, I am sweating like a pig and we have to say goodbye to the McLaren Speedtail, McLaren Senna, and of course that orange Koenigsegg Regera that just looks so, so incredible. Never seen a Regera or a Speedtail or a Senna in my entire life. So seeing all of them at one spot in the same time for the first time ever seeing a hypercar, that is really something special. But that is it for today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, please give it a like. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. It would help me reach my goal of 2,000 subscribers before the end of 2021. And subscribe for more crazy supercar and hypercar content coming up soon. But I hope See you in a future video. Bye for now.